surprise probably was Sewell Regis. Uh, sadly, we lost him uh, a couple of years ago, but he was a big centre forward for West Bromwich Albion. And uh, he was sort of a player that really kind of inspired me to, to, to play football. <laughs> I think that was at primary school, you know, it's funny we're, we're here because I was asked who uh, was my favourite teacher and it was um, my, my very first sports teacher at primary and got me into football and, you know, that served me for, for all my life. I suppose the first real good boots, they still make them, believe it or not, the Adidas World Cups. And, you know, I, I could have cried when I got them. It was a Christmas present. Um, I would have had some cheaper boots before then, but I, I can't remember what they are now. <laughs> um, oh, wow. I suppose I had a number, you know, at primary school, whatever, but my, my teacher, Chris Kilby, or I should say Mr Kilby, um, he was my high school teacher and he was the one who really kind of said you could have a career in the game. That was for, didn't score for Palace, so it was, would have been for Southend, uh, my first goal um, against Exeter and we won the game and uh, I didn't score many. I mean, I played nearly 800 games, I only scored eight goals. So uh, don't put me up front. <laughs> My first live game I went to, professionally, was Crystal Palace versus Rotherham. It was 1-1. One, one. But I used to watch non-league, I used to watch two in the Mitchum, they were my local non-league team. But professionally, it was Palace versus Rotherham in 1982, I think. First one is my, my first game. As a professional, I think every young player, when they start on the journey and they all, you know, everyone wants to be a professional. But I think once, I think when you sign and you're told that you, you're gonna be a, a professional, you sign your first professional contract, I don't think anything can beat that, really. Uh, your first game is always memorable. Mine was as a sub coming on uh, against Newport for Crystal Palace. Um, and I suppose my biggest wow moment as a player is playing for England, I think. You know, that can never, ever be topped by anything. And, uh, you know, it's one of my favourite memories as a professional.